All right, guys, so today we're going to be checking out the PC230 thermal imaging camera by Guide SenseMart. This is a tool like thermal imaging camera, and we're going to open it up and see what it can do. So, just taking a look at the packaging here, nice thick construction here they send in the packaging. Just taking a look at some of the features they print uh, IR resolution uh negative 20 to 550 celsius uh boot up time in one second uh 16 hours of operating time uh capsulation ip54 not really sure what that is but we'll figure it out and it's drop tested up to two meters so pretty durable there um we'll check out all these features and uh see if it does what it says it does If you flip it over on the back here, you can see the EAN number and each device has its own serial number. All right, open it up. These are the instruction manuals here and in the box, you'll see we get a charging cable, a wall adapter, and then the actual device here. Now, it's always a good idea to charge it fully before you use it. I have used this one, so I've charged it a little bit and um, messed around with it a little bit, so it might be a little dead. But there's the PC230 logo, and on the um, other side, you can see the lenses. So if we open up the book here, we're just going to breeze through this and take a look at some of the features on it. We have a visible lens, an infrared lens, a laser a lamp, two triggers one is a focus trigger one is a picture taking trigger and then also the buttons here we have a up and down button an lcd screen and also the menu button and up top here we have the type c charging and then the tf card which is basically a memory card so it comes with a pre-installed memory card you could take it out after you take pictures with the camera and load them onto your computer and uh uh, share them for data sharing so like i said always a good idea to read the directions so you know what you're working on here but the best thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start this thing up by long pressing the power button and it booted up in one second so that is true uh, it comes on very quickly if we press the left button that is our menu button so whenever you're taking readings you want to make sure you have the right parameters set up so right now I have it set up for negative four Celsius to 322 Celsius. I'm sorry, uh, negative four Fahrenheit. So I'm having a little trouble getting it to focus. Um, but yeah, so I have it, so it has a couple different options. You can do 212 to 1022 Fahrenheit in auto mode, or you can also do um, negative four to 302 Fahrenheit. That's the one I'm probably going to leave it on. You could do auto too, but I would very seldom be doing testing anything over 212 degrees, maybe some heat exchangers and stuff, but that, that would be rare. So, uh, going down here, we're going to just look at all these options here. So there is an option here for distance away. So you wanna make sure you set that distance for what you're testing. So if you're say testing a ceiling diffuser that's you know 10 feet in the air, you wanna make sure you adjust those meters accordingly. You'll get a more accurate reading doing that. If you're testing something directly in front of you, you wanna uh, set it for that also. You will get different readings, the different, um, distance meters you set so you could set it up for meters or yards it does not have a feet but uh you could set it up for meters or yards so there's some other options going down here uh you have the screen brightness you can auto shut off it does have a laser feature an infrared laser so it will detect uh, the temperature of whatever the uh, infrared laser hits and then you also you can turn that on and off if you want then you have an option for a flashlight and uh, you can change the language, you can format your SD card, you can do a factory reset on it. And uh, yeah, we have the gallery here at the top also. So after you take some pictures, you can review them from the gallery. And um, 
yeah, you can get in there and delete the images too. So right now I'm seeing, I'm testing this space right now and you can see, look at all the heat intrusion in this space. Everywhere where you see that orangish red, that's where heat's getting in at. And this is a drop ceiling in this space. So you can see where all those tracks are, there is heat coming in there. And all the seams of this room is taking heat in. And on the same token, in the wintertime, it will be taking cold air in. So you can see some major upgrades could be done to this room to save some heating and cooling. Also, this door in the same room, a lot of heat coming in that door there. So possibly think about a, a door upgrade because the tighter you have your house, the better your air conditioning is going to work. So if you look here, we have our imaging camera set up on a tripod here, which is nice. You can set it and have a nice steady view of what you're trying to measure. And you see here how inefficient this room is and how inefficient this air conditioner is. It is 86 degrees around this air conditioner while it's actually putting out 42 degrees that's what this little graph on the side is telling us it is showing us the warmest point and the coolest point in this picture here coolest point being the 42 degrees coming out of the air conditioner and the 87 degrees that is the heat intrusion into this room so and also if you look here on the top left, that's where our crosshair is, which is measuring the output of the air conditioner, which was 42 degrees. So let's just cycle through a couple of these modes here. So uh, we have visible light mode here, which gives you uh, a non-infrared picture. Then we have a picture in picture mode here, which is infrared in the center, but a normal picture mode on the outside. And then back to our infrared mode here. So we also have one other mode, the MIF mode. But uh, I'll probably be using the infrared mode the most. And if we look, uh, take a look at our triggers here, we have, you see we have two triggers here, the red one and the black one. The black one is actually our focusing trigger. If we press that, while we're looking at the object we're trying to measure, it will focus in on it. So this black one right here, we're measuring this air conditioner and we pull it and it's gonna focus in on it. Sometimes you can press it two or three times and the more you press it, the more focused it will come. And the other trigger actually has two functions, but if you have the laser turned on, it turns on the laser and you can see we're picking up 64 degrees from that return of this air conditioner. And if we move it up to the supply of the air conditioner, it's given us 44, 42 degrees. All right, out here at this condenser now, we're taking a look and taking a measurement of that condenser motor you can see how much warmer it is than the rest of the system there. We want to make sure that's in operating, a good temperature operating range. Uh, looks like it's about 113 degrees, up uh, 123 in some spots. And if we step back, we can get a good temperature of our condenser. Now also, we're inside here, we can also take a temperature drop across this filter dryer to see if that is restricted at all. We can take an inlet and an outlet temperature there and then also across the middle. And look at this old light bulb here, 155 degrees. <laughs> all right, we have a diffuser here. It's making some cool air. So if we want to take a picture here, like I said, this red button will capture your picture. So you press the trigger one time and it's going to come up with a check or an X. 
you hit the check, it'll save your picture. If you hit the X, it won't. So I believe if you don't do anything, it will automatically save your picture. So we want to take a picture of that. Hit the, we are saved. So, and that goes for any of this. If we wanted to say, get a picture of our air handler working, the workings of our air handler here, go ahead and do that, hit okay, and then it's saved. Okay, so now we want to review our pictures on the device here. So we hit the okay button to get to our menu and that's our very first option here is our gallery. So we hit okay there, review our images and here they are. Here's all the images that we see. All right, so now we want, if we want to transfer our pictures to our computer, we're gonna open this guy up here. We're going to pull the SD card out, which is right there. And then you're gonna put it in your computer and you can transfer them and share them however you want. This is also the slot to charge the device. Okay guys, let's look at here in the floor here. Let's say we have a condensate leak and we wanna see what the extent of the damage is because we really don't know. We don't have a moisture meter either. Check this out. There's a water on the floor here. Look how clear that comes up. Everywhere where there's water, we're getting a clear indication. Like this spot right here, you can barely see that. You can barely see that there. But look how clear it's coming up on the imaging camera. That is crazy. <laughs> so very good for finding moisture spots too. All right, guys, that is the PC230 by Guide Sense Smart. I want to give a big shout out to Guide Sense Smart, especially Vanessa for sending us this product and sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. I will be using it on many different service calls to diagnose many different problems. And that's the thing, guys, all the trades are using thermal cameras now to diagnose issues. Electricians, plumbers, HVAC guys, they're all using them now to diagnose a wide variety of issues to find hot spots, cold spots, wet spots, all kinds of stuff, guys. Uh, you know, you can just bust it out and get a quick Delta T without having to get out your thermometer and your probes and all that type of stuff. Just hit it with the thermal camera. It's very quick and very accurate. So if you don't have one and you want to buy one, a thermal camera, I'm going to put a link for this one down in the description box. If you use the link, you'll get a discount and I will get a commission on the purchase and it's a great way to support me and the channel. So, all right guys, that's gonna be it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm also gonna put a link down in the description for SenseMart's website. Check out their whole product line. They have a bunch of cool technology over there with thermal cameras, night vision cameras, uh, thermal scopes, binoculars, all kinds of stuff over there, guys. Very cool state-of-the-art technology over there. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.